Tim Marker, action! <laughs> What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D, a killer Ryan 680. I'm Justin, aka Adosa Stir. And I'm Dylan, aka Dylan Ethan 01. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? A little disappointed just after, <laughs> uh, uh, after your malfunction. Second take. Yeah. This is take number two, guys. Uh, this is our review, ladies and gentlemen, of Spiral, guys. Spiral, first off, I do want to say thank you, Shudder. Thank you so much for the opportunity, man. We really do appreciate all the all the support and everything on getting us this press access. So I do want to, I do want to say thank you for that guys. And to start off there's 61 days of Halloween guys. I mean, dude, I'm ready for, are y'all ready for Halloween? Y'all ready to get scared? Most definitely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm always scared. Yeah. Like, don't forget, scared. wear your mask and don't forget, wear your mask. We go to haunted house, wear your mask. If they mm -hmm. are still having them. Uh, but yeah, so let's get right to it guys. This is our review of spiral. We are going to be mentioning spoilers as well, ladies and gentlemen. So be aware, but uh, we will say it before. We mentioned anything, but yeah, let's get right to it, guys. Um, a uh, a same sex couple moves to a small town with their 16 year old daughter, Shutter style, guys. It gets horrified at the very end. It just, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those movies to where that it really is gonna get you. And I, and I didn't see this coming. That's the thing. I, it's one of those movies that I didn't see it coming. I really did it. I don't know if y'all did, but I didn't see it coming. No. Yeah. no. No, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. If, if if it if you did see it coming, that's that's a little scary. We gotta stop this right now. <laughs> All right, let's get right to it. Justin, get us started, man. What do you think of this film, man? Right off the bat. All right. So, um, for for those who don't know the, you know, the movie Spiral itself, uh, which I was confused at with the beginning because I thought it was the uh, Saw spinoff Spiral. Um, <laughs> But it it was completely completely different. <laughs> so um, I know you I know you texted yeah. me too, dude. <laughs> yeah. So non nonetheless, uh, it, the basically this whole movie, um, basically you know, like you said, same sex couple moves to this brand new town, getting away from the big city, um, and it's just it's it's basically one of those movies that like, hey, this perfect little town ain't so perfect as it seems to be, like you know. Yeah. So, uh, but. I mean, in the end, th this movie did surprise me as to like how things were gonna go and how things yeah. ended and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, and it's uh, it's one of those movies. It's you know, it starts off right in the '90s, um, mm -hmm. being pretty pretty spot on 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 a lot of the um, Tech technology and yeah. the feel of the '90s and everything. So, um, I which I thought was a uh, you know an actual. Like that was a really good thing because you know a lot of a lot yeah. of movies back then who at least feature in those times like seem to mess up on a couple of things here and there. I mean, this one did kind of you know one small minor thing or you know something mm. that we probably might have not noticed. But. Yeah. So so this this film was actually uh, was made in 2019 last year, and here's the thing: I just uh, you know I love the small town feel. I love this. I love you know uh, just small town movies where you, wherever it's set as series, myth films. Uh, Friday Night Lights is one of my all-time favorite small town uh, series. You know, it's set in Dillon, Texas. And here's the thing: I you have to make me believe it's a small town, and I think this film did so well at doing so. It really did. Um, it, it it did at at um, at an edgy style, I guess, a retro style. I know you mentioned Dylan, a, a, a retro style, um, and it, and it was very uh, indie, but it didn't feel indie. It felt just very. Uh, like half uh, major production, half indie. Uh, and also I would say too, as well, is that why in the heck would people leave their doors unlocked? <laughs> That's the only thing. Like it just, why you, we lived in the, Aaron even said it, we lived in the suburbs, still unlocked. Like I was just, I, that astonished me. And then when I found out later, later in the film, I was like, oh, wait, it's not, it's the early, it's, you know, it's 95. Like what the heck? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was just like, no one locked their doors. The garage was wide open. The one thing that was annoying the heck out of me, of course, was the lighting. It was so dark in the corners. I did not like the lighting whatsoever. Like there was just no light. Like every corner was like black, pitch black. Like anything could be there. Anyone could break in and everything was just wide open. There was no broken glass, no nothing. They just, and just walk in, hey, how's it going? You know, just walk into a house and steal everything. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it just, but it, it was a very different that, time. But it had that correct type of lighting to where it was an yeah. older house. Uh, you know, especially back in the, you know, in the nineties. So in the house is supposedly supposed to be dated a lot older than what it's supposed to, or, or, you know, where it is right now, you know? So, yeah. 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 Dylan, what's your thoughts, man? Tell me, uh, what was your thoughts of this film, man? 
I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was it was very well done. Uh, you could see in some parts where it was a smaller budget film, which I think played towards the small town thing. You know, few locations, few sets. Um, yeah, kept it pretty much in the same two or three houses. Uh, very well done in that sense, though. Yeah, no, yeah, I just, I, the heart, so, um, here's the thing, I actually did like the, was I the only one guessing, like, trying to fully understand what the hell was going on, because I was just, every scene where we get to the, to the middle of the first, the second act of the film, I'm literally, like, questioning, Malik, what are you doing, like, what the hell's going on, what, this scene's go, happening here, then it goes twists to another scene, it fragments fogginess of memories, I was just, I was tripping me out. I was just like, I'm tripping out with, with Malik here. I was all like, dude, what the heck is going on? You know, figuring out all this stuff where I'm not going to mention everything, of course, but it's just a lot of fragments of memory loss and everything. And it just got me questioning every scene. Were y'all questioning that too as well? Like, Oh, what, what's going on? Or, or was, were y'all already, oh, okay, there's something, something's mess. Somebody's messing with him. And yes. Just- and yes. And no, I, it kind of, I mean, right off the bat, man, uh, just with that first, you know when he's when he's there by himself um mm. you know and he's and he's uh, like trying to hear all the noise and everything like that and you know he hears stuff going on and he looks yeah. outside the window and he sees everybody in that next house right uh, you know right when i saw that i'm like oh it's it, it's a town full of yeah. cult. <laughs> you know like, it's or, a crazy cool thing oh you see I'm, an old what'd you say you see a creepy old man outside the door <laughs> yeah wait, wait, you know, like it, like it was kind of like predictable on what it was gonna be, like at least what okay. the whole theme of the movie was, like a cult movie, um, which is kinda like in in my opinion seemed kind of nineties to begin with, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I mean, just just that right there was kind of predictable. Like, oh, okay, it's a it's a cult movie, you know. But yeah, I did not get that whole like, I don't know, like the way it all played out, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, actually exceeded my expectations on a, a type of cult movie it was. Yeah. 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 Like I, I went in full, you know, on a clean slate. I went in not knowing, not having, having any expectations. And I was actually very pleased with this film. I'm not going to lie. I really was. Uh, when it came down to the climax of the film, I really did enjoy that very well into a sense to where like I really was, I was entertained. I really was. And I, it shocked me of the ending because I didn't see that coming. And, um, and yeah, I just, you know, I, this movie came out at a runtime at an hour and, and uh, 27 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, an hour and 27 minutes, which actually is a perfect runtime. Like, I feel like if you would have gone two hours, it would have been dragging. It would have, it wouldn't have played out the way it would have came out like, like this. I think I would have not been entertained. I would have been an, almost to a sense to not necessarily annoyed, but just to a sense to where, all right, this, you know, when's, when's this? Cause it didn't have a strong plot as I wanted it to have. It didn't ha- go in depth like I wanted to. I wanted to go more darker, more in depth on um, the cult itself. What I wanted, um, but of course, this was story. This was a story about Malik and Aaron. So I mean, I, I'm, I'm I was totally for it. Uh, I was I was totally for that. Their chemistry together, too, Malik and Aaron, was totally well done. I love the chemistry between both of them, and it was very believable. And then the, the daughter too. It just it, Kayla. It was it was very very believable, and I really did enjoy this film. Uh, but yeah, how'd y'all feel about the runtime? I thought it was good. Uh, we watched the whole thing, and it honestly felt a bit longer than what it really was. Oh dang! Uh, okay. Don't tell me, think that's tell me why. a neg- I don't think that's an. I don't really know if that's a negative thing. Oh, it's that's just, a negative to me. That's what I say. If it's a negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it it just felt a lot longer than an hour and twenty seven, but uh, but I, I enjoyed it. I thought I like you said I thought it was a pretty good runtime it wasn't too much uh it could have been much if they would have added more yeah uh, if they there were like if they would have went into like the background of the cult it probably well no because that, that okay so like the way they set it up it towards the, if they would have added that like towards the towards the end of the film it kind of would have like nah like uh, yeah i wouldn't have liked it either like it kind of would have because the way they were going though because the, the the setup was is that it was going to focus on these two on the same sex couple because I was all like, oh, okay, so it's going to – I thought it was initially when they brought us into this film, I thought initially they were going to explain in the middle of this, what is this, what's going on, why are they – you know, why are they why are they all all dancing around, why, why are they just dancing, they just – what the hell's going on? I thought they were going to explain that, 
and they didn't of course and it just but it, you know it's one of those things to where like it doesn't need an explanation like you just you got scared you got creeped out we all creeped out a little bit or not really or yeah i would say it was i don't know if i would say the movie was scary uh it definitely made you think about yeah. things yeah um which I guess to some people is scary if they got to use their brain. <laughs> but, um, but no, um, it, yeah, it definitely it makes you. Um, I there are a couple parts now that I think about it that were jump scares, which I feel like were not necessary at yes. all. Yeah. Um, but I'll go into yeah. that. Yeah, I'll go into that. So, like, I do want to mention, ladies and gentlemen, that this film does have a lot of bass. And a lot of sound, not buildups, but a lot of bass and sound whenever an action scene or a horror sequence, I would say, happens where, you know, just something hard happens. Could be anything, could just be a, a jump scare, like uh, like Dylan said, or it could just be like a cut scene. It goes straight into an action sequence. And it just, it's a very, uh, very loud bassy sound. And actually, I didn't mind it. Um, I did kind of mind it towards the end, though. I was just like, oh, God, okay, what's next? Or like, what's <laughs> like, you, you get kind of annoyed a little bit. I don't know. I just, that's just me, but I'm I'm just like, why are you using music to scare me when all I could say, the perfect example, Michael Myers, all his song is like little, little soft tone, like it or jaws, like a little soft tone, but then it gets bigger because you know it's just you where know, he's gonna kill the you know the the human. But um it just uh, you know, I always go back to you know soundtracks like that. Like it's just you don't need a full bass on boom, like boom, like just to come out of nowhere and just to scare people. Like you need costume designs you need the the camera angles and i already mentioned our our dylan already the camera angles right or was it david or who, who mentioned that yeah david had brought it up when we were watching it that they were the camera cuts and the, sh the shots lined up were very 90s feeling okay yeah so yeah and then also i know you had a problem with the with the ending it's not uh we're gonna mention a small little spoiler here uh but i know you uh did, did you mention the the end yeah not yet but yeah the the tech towards the end of the movie was not completely incorrect. It just wasn't as believable as it could have been um, by swapping out CDs for floppy drives or floppy disks. So <laughs> yeah. It would have been a little bit better, I think. Well, see, okay, now that I think about it, I'm just like, maybe he was preparing for the future because he thought CDs were the future. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that is true. That's a good point. Because I mean, he was technically in that gray area where both yeah. were around. It would just was like more commercial use for CDs. You know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to like the average user hadn't really gotten their hands on it yet. Yeah, I, uh, I was questioning every scene, and I was just, uh, you know, I was there with there with Malik, man. I was just like, Malik is losing the sense of reality and, and just what's real and what's not. He didn't. I don't. I, at the same time, I was just like, whenever the climax did happen. Um, uh, when an action sequence finally did happen, of course, the major one that Malik did, we're not going to mention it, but the major one that Malik did, I was just like, is it real? Like, did, did that really happen? <laughs> is he is he, is he too drugged up to where he's thinking that it's happening? Or it just, it looked too unreal. And um, even Aaron said, oh, I'm not going to mention that to you because that's a spoiler, sorry. But even Aaron mentioned something right before he came in and y'all know what I'm talking about. But it just, it was very fragmented. I feel like I was missing part of the movie in a sense. But I don't know if that that's just probably the way they wanted us to think. That's the way they wanted us to the way yeah. it was filmed and the way, I think and the way that's it was edited. Exactly what it was yeah. supposed to be. And yeah. I think the I think the motel scene was meant to explain that. Yeah. They show you that one detail and it's kind of yeah. like, okay, exactly. now, now okay. Where I thought he was just why. tripping on acid or something, or like <laughs> just, he's, he's on those drugs. <laughs> but yeah, um uh Okay, so yeah, has he questioned everything? You know, and and here's the thing too, as as you know, this film actually touches up a lot on, you know, on on same sex marriage, and it touches it, it touches it up on, you know, just people are afraid of of change, and that's what they kept mentioning throughout the yeah. film. I don't know if they mentioned the how beginning the, and how the different, how the how every, how basically yeah. how every time, like every period in time, like uh, people have are afraid of something. Something different. It's something yeah. different. Something different, and not necessarily same sex marriage because we got we got the end of it towards the end of the film. We got which not called, just which I call same sex marriage. Okay, you did call. Okay, call so it. yeah, he did okay. predict that. All right, so uh, you know, it's not just touching up on that, but it's touching up just any change from small town feel. It really sheds light on that, and I love that. I love how it really touched up on that. I really love how it 
how it's just, you know, it, it's just kind of kind of scary a little bit because you know we're in san antonio texas if you go to east texas it's like a whole different era. it's just like you're in a whole different state almost and it's just yeah very very different i'll say <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah uh so i'll say you know a twist of a film that gets you into a creepy mood and gets you in the spirit of halloween guys so i'll yeah. say that i thought it was uh, for it saying it was a twist you know that i thought was very very correct i mean just because like yeah it was a spiral thinking like oh it's all in this dude's head like he's like traumatized yeah, that's what he, i thought it was that's what like that's, it's, yeah it's completely different it's just like yeah that's like, why I, I, that's why i was shocked yeah, yeah i did like that whole twist on it yeah i know we all were shocked like towards the end well okay, at least the main part like we're just like yeah Whoa. Oh, yeah whoa. whoa what the hell's going on are we is he tripping on acid again <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh okay so was this the film that we deserved guys can we say that i'm gonna say yes yeah justin's gonna say no <laughs> Justin, just, no 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 it's a, if you say no it's all good it's okay i say yeah um i i feel like the movie should have been named something else i mean yeah. because i mean obviously they didn't explain what would you have named it twist twi uh twisted i'm just kidding i don't know what would you what would you have named it i don't know honestly but like it didn't explain why it was called spiral, you know, like yeah, why see, other than that yeah. being the symbol for their for the cult. I mean, yeah, which you, have, you literally have to figure out for yourself. Uh, I yeah, feel, I feel yeah. like it had to do with um, just the fact that it comes around every ten years, like they said. Yeah, Might as well have a rotation or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every ten years. Not yeah. really justifying the name, but I think yeah. that's where they were trying to go with it. No, I guess ten, so. ten, ten year spiral. Let's name it that movie. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, okay. So yeah, we all agreed to that. All right, guys, let's go to ratings, ladies and, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna mention our ratings of this film. Uh, Dylan, let's start with you, man. Rating one to ten, ten being the highest, one being the lowest. We're gonna rate this film. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid seven. All right, sounds good. I don't want to put right. too low, but I mean, I did enjoy it a bit. Okay. So. Uh, I I enjoyed it as well. Me and my wife, we actually, um, I was trying to scare. So my my goal right now is to scare my wife, and she gets pissed, like pissed, <laughs> angry, where she kicks me out. So, um, uh, you know, I was trying to scare her at times, and she got pissed off at me, and so now I have to sleep on the couch. But anyways, but uh, so like, I'm gonna have to rate this film a six because it got my wife scared, and and but it but here's the thing, um. It, it was the sense of like you're at home even though she, and she works from home so like it's to where like you know it's at your home everything's at home like i love those set films i love those movies that happen in the home where something crucial happens where something horrified happens where it just keeps coming and keeps going and i love that the creepiness in the home all those camera angles and all that stuff so i'm gonna I, i'm gonna have to give it a solid six i enjoyed this film justin mm, you know what i'll agree with dylan i'll give it a seven um okay just uh and i'll give it a seven just because of that ending um because it did it did like throw me off like i guess like towards yeah. the end of, towards the end of the movie it just like threw you off completely which i i like i liked it yeah. i didn't and i didn't fully enjoy the whole movie just because it was i felt like the pacing was like it the the way they paced the film made it seem like if it was too long at least for me okay yeah yeah no, no, no. that makes sense yeah yeah that makes sense that makes perfect I sense still good i mean yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna knock it but yeah yeah and i well, feel, I feel well, like uh, the, the the whole cast for the movie too as well um you know it, there wasn't anybody that outshined anybody else like felt like it was like all evenly yeah right. there was no real bad acting yeah yeah as far as that yeah goes. it was it was very it wasn't over dramatic it was believable and again i love these films that don't it's not predictable and that's the thing I hate are predictable movies where like, oh my God, it's a rate. This, this is clearly, clearly the killer. This is definitely the killer guys. Yeah. Scream. This is definitely the killer. Like it just, you know, it's just one of those things to where like, I don't want it to be too predictable and I don't want that. You know, I really don't. I don't want it to where like, I guess the ending and it's just like, oh, okay. I was right. All right. Is this film over yet? Is, is it done yet? Or is it over? Can we shut this off already? Like, you know, you don't want to get like that. Uh, so, all right, guys, would y'all recommend this film? Um, I would. Uh, I will. Yeah. I'm, what the uh, heck, Justin? What the heck, dude? I'm going to say maybe. 
I guess maybe maybe just because um, you know our first film that we that we review, you know, like amazed all of us, you know. So like uh, I, yeah. I right when the film finished, I said ah, Shutter's one for one. At least in my opinion. Oh, one in one. What yeah. in one? Dang. And and this, you know, this is their se- uh this is the second shutter original film that we got to see. So yeah. um, but yeah, I mean, you know, that's I mean, I, I still won't I still won't they're wanna. barely starting off though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You have to give them credit. They're barely starting off. If they already won us already with that film, yeah. the first film, like I mean, come on, you're gonna have some you're gonna have some uh wins, and you're gonna have some losses. So you know, I, that's, I will, that's the thing. I'll put it this way. Um, cause how you say, like what I recommend this film, um, I, you know what, actually I will recommend it just because, um, although I wasn't too fond of it, um, okay. there's a, this film was a lot better than a lot of major Hollywood yeah. production films. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I can film. agree to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not Halloween, like, not Halloween. Cause that one's still great. No, not Halloween. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. stupid movies like Valentine's day or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's an old school one. That's an old school Halloween. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Or uh, Cry Wolf. Remember that one? And that although film? I and although I love it, you know, Leprechaun in the Hood. Yeah. Oh my God! Or Leprechaun in uh, in space. Wait, does it go in space? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Any of the Leprechaun movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any of those damn movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I'm mostly movie talk. Does recommend this movie, guys. So be sure to check it out, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not already, be sure to check it out, guys, on Shutter streaming service. And yeah, so let's get right to it. I want to point out that they uh, they actually were uh, nominated for Best Cinematography uh, from the Leo Awards this year. And then um, last year from the Austin Sci-Fi Film Festival got a Best Feature Audience Award. So, oh, dang. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, for it, uh, for it just coming out last... Uh, I, what did I say last year? No. I mean, well, it's going to be released this year, but for it being made last year... It, I mean, you know, one award and one nominee. There you go. Good. Man. All right, guys. So let's get right to it. We're going to be mentioning spoilers. So if you have not seen this film, be sure to check out our other reviews, guys, at our, at our Animal City Movie Talk. All right. So let's get right to it, man. All right. Justin, start us off with the spoilers, man. What is – bring on the filthy. Bring on the spoiled. Let's go. <laughs> let's get right to it. <laughs> um, so I guess, like, just right off the bat, after finding out that – or just, like, figuring out, like, oh, this is a cult movie – um, you know, I, I did like the whole, like them trying to make it seem like, oh, you're the one that's crazy. You know, it, yeah. it's, it's all in your head and even having your partner getting turned against you. Like, yeah, I, that I was, did, that like, was I did like all that. And just the whole twist of like, like I kept saying in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, like, Hey, like they're able to get into their houses just by opening the door, you know, cause it's unlocked. Mm-hmm. It's like, what are the chances that they switched out his like medication and then yeah sure enough yeah. we find that out that they actually switched out his medication another thing i'm surprised they don't have the cassette keys of their own because they have you know they've rented the house or they sold that house i don't know how many times and it's still happening and the creeper so the creeper um the creepy grandfather he was actually helping trying to help him yeah you know trying to help well, him you, out. you got to remember yeah. at the end he explained it that it's the people that are the outsiders is the, are the ones they put the blame on yes not necessarily the ones that they kill yeah. that's why i think the grandpa was still alive yeah because they killed his granddaughter and her partner yeah but they blame like they blamed it on on them as on, well. on them yeah so like the, so, yeah so that's why it was suicide murder um and it's yeah. the same thing with i thought about it later with the whole daughter being a virgin thing it was like I don't think she needed to be a virgin to be sacrificed. I think that just made no, it better. I think I see that's the thing. I I really think that that was a setup. I really think that because even even the even the little um or he's not even a teenager. I mean I don't even know what we call him, but um but he, he's obviously older. He's obviously <laughs> old. Uh, the young guy. I mean, he even said, "Let's." I'm gonna save that for some special. Like I would. Like, oh yeah, I picked up yeah. on that right away. You yeah. could ask Justin. I as soon as because Justin was like, "That's not real. He's not gonna turn her down." Yeah, I exactly. Said, no. yeah. I said no. He's testing it, and yeah. then sure enough. But I don't think she necessarily needed to be a virgin. I just feel like that it made it better for them because she, she was innocent. Was. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that that was f like that was so because I think I still think I still think that they kept the grandpa around for 
the fact that if they needed something before the 10 years. Yeah. And I think that's why they got rid of him in the beginning of the movie. Gotcha. On here's an, here's another thing, another thing too I do want to mention um, was uh, – so another thing too that my wife really didn't like that they didn't actually show him full on de- de- uh, decapitating her. He, they didn't show that, which I, my wife really didn't like because you get those over – overbearing gory films that like mm-hmm. i mean they just showed him in the end like finishing her off like that mm-hmm. was actually good because you knew you already knew what's happening like when the door opened when the scene sequences enters uh, into where he's already eating you already know exactly what happened her 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 chest is wide open oh man it's just rowdy that's just a rowdy scene um i, I was happy that you didn't have to go into like almost to a sense to where like a jeepers creepers like it was just swallowing mm-hmm. everything you know just go into you know and and that's the thing. It's you know, it wasn't it wasn't about. I mean, it's about eating people in them, but it's not. That wasn't the main you know thing. They're not you, yeah. they're not carnivore. It was a cult. It was a ritual. I, it was a setup. I know. I know. It didn't fully explain. I know. I basically it didn't fully explain like what what their whole thing was and and you know what is their whole goal and everything other than the fact that every 10 years they need to sacrifice somebody so that they can keep immortality. Yeah. But the thing that I didn't quite understand, which I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out for myself, um, which I think they're making you letting you figure everything out for yourself in the end, um, which I'm guessing the son wasn't actually their son. I'm guessing he was a, a demon or shit, the devil himself, you yeah. know? Um, so that's what I was, that's, that's what I kind of, you know, thought to myself, that's at least what the film made me think that was going on, you know, like, Hey, if you like, if you give me a sacrifice every 10 years, I'll let all of y'all live. Like, that's what I, that, that's yeah. what I kind of figured out for myself. I mean, which I kind of wish the film kind of would have kind of sort of at least touched on that. Like, like, Hey, there's this guy and it's a, you know, it's a demon. It's a folklore guy or, so, you know, something like that, you know? Yeah, no, exactly. And I just, you know, I I really wanted them to touch up on the code, but I'm kind of glad that they did because it would have been a too long of a film. Yeah. It would have been way too long of a film. To, to There was there was yeah. one one mistake where they completely overlooked. Um, they never explained the guy at the bridge. Yeah, yeah. I just thought about yeah. that. Yeah, they didn't. They never, they did, explained, they never explained who he was. Was he was he trying to warn them? Was he where did he come from? Was he come, yeah. come from the water? He obviously wasn't an apparition if if she saw it and he did too. Yeah. So, you know, they never explain like, I mean, she yeah. wasn't taking the pills. So why would she be seeing things? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it was just like thing- never yeah. touched on. Yeah. The only thing that I can think of is like, yeah, like you said, maybe it was somebody from who knew about it or something like that. Or mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, honestly. Yeah. That's probably like, they, they probably meant to do something with that, but then like, they're like, ah, never mind. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, just, it, it, it could it could just be left as like a cliffhanger, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. It just it could have just been left untold and just left like that. Or maybe they did shot a scene um, or maybe it was just another cult person, you know, and maybe they I could think, have shot. I honestly and, think yeah. it was just intended to be like another scare, like the girls uh, in the house. Like yeah. I thought that was totally unnecessary. I get it. Like they were. Uh, that was his mind, I think, connecting the dots between him grabbing the tapes and then him standing in that corner. Mm-hmm. I think mentally, like, that's what his brain created to s- explain how he got those yeah. tapes in his hand mm-hmm. because he saw the tapes himself. Yeah. Yeah. And all he did was climb up there and grab them. But because he was on the pills, his brain saw the girl giving them to him. Mm, I'll, I'll half agree with you there. I kind of think she was there. I really you do. You think so? Yeah. I just, yeah, I just didn't feel like. I feel like it tried to be a couple of different kinds of horror movies. Dylan, you don't, like, you don't, you don't believe in ghosts. No, I do. <laughs> no, no, but no, I do believe kidding, in ghosts, but I don't you. feel like this was a yeah. ghost movie. Yeah, you know no, what I mean. I know. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it I, tried I to be it. a ghost movie and it tried to be a cult movie. Hey, you could do both. Hey, you could do both. You know. Uh, I think in the end, it was just like they meant for everything to be in his head. You know. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I. Yeah. We could. We could agree to that. Um, yeah. You know, which is always. Which is always something that happens in horror films. Like it's always one person that they get to mess with their head that ends yeah. up. You know, leading towards the climax of the film. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So let's. All right. So let's get right to. Uh, let's go ahead. And talk about the very very ending. Um. The ending of that, Justin. You said you called it. How'd you call it, man? Tell me. 
Um, so like how they mentioned that, um, you know, like it, it's not specifically that they're targeting, you know, like same sex couples. It's yeah. It's they, they target people, which is, which is smart. Um, they target people, uh, certain types of people that everyone is afraid of. And when they mean that they're afraid of, it's, you know, what the media pushes out there to be like, Hey, you know, you know, this is going on and it's because of these type of people. So right off, like, right when I thought of that, I'm like, okay, like, like it kind of would have been a disappointment if, uh, they would have been like, Oh, it's another gay couple. Um, yeah. You know, uh, but, but I, like, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, it's 10 years later. The date said 2005, 2003. And I'm like, I was like, what just, well, yeah, I was I like, it was what? 2007. No, no, it was ten years. So from ninety five, it was 05. Yeah, oh five, oh five. Yeah, so I was like thinking, I was like, okay, what just happened? Nine eleven. It was like, and after nine eleven, you know, there was a, yeah. there was like, there was a like hatred and a fear towards people from yeah. the Middle East. Middle East, and, yeah, yeah. And you always, and you always got to remember, like, especially what Dave Chappelle said in his stand up. You know, it's <laughs> like, you know, like it's 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 an effed up thing and everything, but you know, like, you know, the the people from the Middle East or who were Middle Eastern in, in during that time were victimized and they were hated upon and, you know, and everything. And then after that, after that, and before that, there was a certain group of people or a certain type of person that was hated like that. So it, it, it made sense on like, I was just like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a Middle Eastern family because, you know, it's 2005, you know, like, and, and, and it sounds, it sounds uh, messed up, but you know, like, if they're going for people who the media wouldn't care if they went missing, then that makes sense. Yeah. And that's another thing too, that that's, I didn't sense. I didn't a, make sense of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he did explain. Okay. So that's another thing too. They didn't explain as well. Was that how did he come back to life? What do you mean? Because of his sacrifices. Yeah. It, Cause he's immortal. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. the whole thing. Like, yeah. That every 10 years, they he probably, he probably laid there on the ground for a while once they took took him away and kind of cleaned up the party the people who knew he was going to come back just kind of stood there and he till you came back up that's crazy yeah. to to live like that like to be more mad that's pr- <laughs> i mean <laughs> dang yeah. that's like worse was, than being a vampire it yeah. was funny because like david had mentioned how like you know as soon as he came into the house and he shot him and you know it looked like he killed him he was like oh shit that's it that's the end of the movie like damn, that's yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I was like, I kind of thought I was like, wait, is this the end of the film? It's really gonna end like this? Don't like tell me it's gonna end like this. Is there a sequel? I was all like, is it like a series? Is this a series? I was all like, man. But yeah, I was happy that it did not end like that though. I would have been yeah. mad. Yeah. But yeah. But all right. Uh, any more spoilers, guys? No, I think I covered it. Uh, awesome. yeah, I covered the girl. I covered the girls in the house. The yeah. That's the man on the bridge. That's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right, guys. Uh, all right. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're gonna, we uh, we will go ahead and mention our ratings one last time, ladies and gentlemen. If you stuck with us this long, I do appreciate it. Thank you for uh, watching, guys. So let's get right to it. Dylan, what was your rating? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Justin? Uh, same thing, 7 out of 10. Awesome. And I was 6 out of 10. All right, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. A. Canola, Ryan 680. I'm Justin at Dosa Stir. Dylan at Dylan Ethan 01. <laughs> all right, guys. What's a, all right? Thank you for making some part of your day. Have a good one. Check y'all later and happy early Halloween. <laughs>